Hey you guys, it's Peter, and welcome to my channel, Peter, boom, 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 <laughs> review stuff, and I am attempting to go do a review at Starbucks. I have a feeling, I have a feeling that my Starbucks is going to be closed when I get up there because it is so late. It is 5.24 p.m., um, and I'm just getting out of the house right now, but I need my coffee so bad. <laughs> So I'm gonna go through Starbucks and attempt to get my coffee. I have to tell you, I was coming out of my neighborhood and there was all these people that are trying to get onto the street and there was like this pickup truck at the, like the way into the street and it just had the door open and I like looked inside when I like passed it by and there was like a Miller Lite can in there. And so there was an accident that had happened at the Speedway station so I pulled in and I said to uh, the police officer, I said, there's like a car that's just like sitting in the middle of the road down there. And he was like, can you call it in for me? And I'm like, what do I look like? A citizen detective, but I do have a true crime book club. So anyway, um, I don't know what's going on with all of that down there, but it's, it's some spooky stuff in the town. So anyway, by the way, if you didn't know, I do have a true crime book club. Okay, so today um, we are going to review, I have the drink, Holly has worn me out holly so holly emailed me back and um i suggested to her that we could either do the good juice she's gonna help me come up with a frappuccino of my own oh my god and i suggested that we could do the either good judy frappuccino or the family friendly frappuccino and she said we should do both of them because she liked both the verbiage of both of them so we're gonna do both of them and then we're gonna send just tons of people over to totallythebomb.com because it is the coolest website in the entire world and i have to tell you there is this light up maple tree over there from amazon and i want it so bad <laughs> now i'm starting to sound like the woman that writes all the articles <laughs> But there is, there's this light up maple tree and I want it so bad. I want to put it on my front porch. Anyway, Holly came up with this drink and this drink sounds actually really cool. And it's called, here's how you can order a Harry Potter poly juice potion frappuccino from Starbucks. She said, I've started making Harry Potter drinks and I can't stop. I know. I, I realize that. The Potterhead in me has gotten the wheels in my brain turning and now I can't stop. We are covering the Hogwarts houses in our drinks, but I wanted to spice it up with more Harry Potter themed drinks. So today we are going to cover probably the most talked about. I have to say the Butterbeer is probably my favorite Frappuccino I've ever had in my entire life, just so you know. The Secret Menu Butterbeer. Okay, so today we are going to cover probably the most talked about potion in the series, the Poly Juice Potion. It's bright green with yellow notes. Here it is. It's bright green with yellow notes and such a perfect representation of Hogwarts Poly Juice Potion. Okay, and here it says Poly Juice Potion. Okay. Um, let's get down here. You will feel as though you are drinking a potion from the wizarding world. I know I will. I know I will feel like I'm growing wings. And I mean that in a good way. You know, in case you had concerns, she said. And here's another picture. Okay. I love the color that this drink became. It is definitely potion-y. I hope you like it. And here's what the top looks like. All right, so this will probably be the recipe. But before running off to Starbucks, you have to go to your, you have to, here's the menu. Okay, here's the, the best picture of it right there. All right. Okay, this is on the secret menu, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so how to order the poly juice fra potion frappuccino. Start by ordering a grande green tea frappuccino, which you know I love the green tea, okay? Frappuccino made with coconut milk. Ask for a scoop of the ginger powder and one pump of the pineapple syrup. And then finally, ask for more matcha powder and ginger powder on top of the drink. Because that's going to give it the yellow and green color. I'm really excited about this one, actually. I'm, like, kind of ready for fall, I have to say. Like, I mean, we have three weeks left of August, and it's still hot in September and whatever. But, like, lately, it hasn't been real, like, summery to go to the pool or anything. It's been, like, cloudy in Indiana, and it's just hot. It's just hot and muggy, and it's, like, raining in the evenings, and it just hasn't been real fun, you know? <gasps> By the way, can I just tell you, so many people recommend it to me because they know that I love Paris is Burning, and I love everything to do with the ballroom scene in New York City. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go watch Paris is Burning. It's on Netflix. Okay, but by, it's the most fantastic documentary in the world. But by the way, can I just tell you, there's a whole history behind it because Jenny Livingston, the director that, that did it, the people that she made the documentary about, they were not happy with her when they were done. They felt like she had kind of invaded their space and then they like, she didn't pay them anything and all this kind of stuff. But anyway, um, I know like everything about it. There's like this whole history. Okay, but there is a... Um, 
there is a new reality show on HBO Max, and it's called Legendary, and it's about the ballroom scene in New York City right now. And there's eight different houses, okay, that, um, what do you call it? They are, like, competing for the final trophy in $100,000. And the host of it is that Jamil... Jamil Jamil that was on The Good Place. I love her so much. I'm like so I'm like I watched the first episode last night and I was like yes 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 get it get it get it. I was out on my front porch I think my neighbors thought I was crazy but I was like don't even worry about it okay we're just having a ballroom scene up here on my front porch. Is it still open? Oh my god I hope it is. I'm gonna be so excited if it's still open. So go watch Legendary and you'd be snapping like this just like me. Okay. If they're still open I'm gonna be so excited. Welcome to Starbucks, Peter. What are we getting? Oh my God, I'm so happy you're still open. It's for me. Yay. Yay. Okay. What are can, you getting today? can I get um? What do we want to drink? Can I get an iced blonde americano with two equal, please? Okay. All right. And is that all you're getting today? No. Can you help me with a drink? Yes, I can. Okay. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Okay. I need to um, order a grande, a green tea frappuccino made with coconut milk. Okay, and a green tea frappuccino, and a coconut milk. And then I need a scoop of ginger powder. Okay. And one pump of pineapple syrup. Alright, one scoop of ginger powder. And then, what came after that? I'm sorry. And a one pump of pineapple juice. Alright, and someone was talking to me at the window. Golden ginger powder, and then what was that for the third time? Sorry. Uh, a pump of pineapple juice. Just one pump of that. Yeah. Alright. And anything else for you? Yeah, and then I need matcha powder and ginger powder on top of the drink. Okay, perfect. And that's it. And I appreciate it so much. Alright, no problem. Good deal. And is that all for you today? That's it. Alright, 1014. We'll see you up here. Alright, thanks. Thank you. Did you guys know that the pumpkin spice latte is coming back on August 25th, which is also my wedding anniversary? Please send gifts. Okay. <laughs> Feel free to send gift cards, gifts, hotel reservations, plane tickets so we can use it, have an excuse to go somewhere. Oh my God. My husband's taking off the weekend after, so we're gonna have like a little romantic like staycation. Oh my God, it's gonna be so fun. We're gonna go to the pool, and then we're gonna get like salads during the day, you know, and then we're gonna take like romantical nap, family friendly in the afternoon, and then we're gonna like go out to dinner in the evening and stuff. I'm so excited, it's gonna be so much fun. Anyway, you have to celebrate. Oh my God, he got four frappuccinos. Oh my Lord, they put it in one of those carrying cases. Oh, and a coffee. That was a lot. They got a lot. What frappuccino did they get? It's something. We're not going to talk about it. <laughs> We're not going to talk about it. <laughs> How are you? It's fine. They got their business out of here, so... Why aren't you playing with your Starbucks app? You just came to me. Because I, because I, it's a long story. What even am I supposed to do with this? Just, you know, this is ancient, right? Just, this is like an Android smartphone. Just get over it, okay? Quit giving me a hard time. <laughs> all right, and we'll have all that right up for you. Okay, thanks. Appreciate what it. What is this? What's this called? Oh, this is really a good one. Okay. So Holly from TotallyTheBomb.com. She's a, this is a website. She makes all these drinks, okay? She's doing a lot of Harry Potter drinks. Have you read the Harry Potter books? I have, yeah. Okay. So this is the Harry Potter Poly Juice Potion. Okay. She's doing every single one. The one yesterday was the Hufflepuff. Okay, yeah, I was here for the Hufflepuff. It was actually one. really good. Really? Yeah, Josh was like, you're not going to like this. And I liked it. It was spicy. Yeah, that's what the thing. There's a lot of ginger in that yellow color. Oh, I like this mask. See what? The mask is cute. Thank I like you. it. Thank you. It's the first thing I've ever actually ordered on Etsy before. So. Really? Yeah. I mean, I've always just scrolled and then I actually ordered something different. I usually order stuff and then I never get it, which really, really makes See, me angry. I was a little skeptical, but this came like everything. Alright, this is it right here. Right? Okay, hold on a second. Now. Look at that. Oh my god. Right. Thank <laughs> thank whoever made this. This right, is beautiful. You. Appreciate it. Thank you. Know. It's so pretty. Oh my god. It's not like yeah, green like hers was, but it's like so yellowy. Did I forget something in the recipe? No. No, it's got everything on it. I wonder why it's so yellow. 
hey, listen, I don't mind. I think it's pretty. Pretty is as pretty does. My mother used to say, pretty as a picture. Do you remember that? <laughs> pretty as a picture. <laughs> you guys, I, th this dumpster over here, I had been throwing my drinks in there and I didn't even think and look or whatever. And then the other day I looked and it said pa paper recycling and I felt so horrible. I did, I felt so horrible that I didn't put my drinks in there. So, um. I don't like the ones that I don't like and I'm not gonna give to anybody. And I was like, oh my lord, I feel so horrible. So I, I can't use that dumpster anymore. Anyway, okay, here we go. Ready? Because I need to put Harry Potter drinks. So you, I wanted you to see the top of it. Now what did hers look like? Hers didn't look that yellow, did it? No, hers was green. What did I forget in this? to add. It's all on here. Cream, coconut milk, add ginger, yeah, it's all on here. I wonder why it came out different than hers. Hmm, I don't know. I'm so excited though. Okay. Tastes very similar to the one yesterday, Holly. <laughs> Like I said, if you put ginger powder in something, it's gonna taste exactly the same. Okay. This is weird that I'm gonna compare it to this. But it's like a spicy pina colada. It's very good, actually. I like spicy stuff, do you? Hot tamale train! <laughs> it's good. Do you see my wings growing from the poly juice? <laughs> um, it's not my favorite, I will be honest. It's okay. I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna give it a 3.6, okay? I thought it was gorgeous, actually. I thought it was really pretty, the yellow, I really love. But, it's just, it tastes like spicy pineapple. And it's really, really spicy because of the ginger. Like overpowering spicy, like more than yesterday. Yeah, I'm just gonna give it a 3.6. This was not my favorite. I'm sorry it wasn't! Oh my God, now I feel so bad because I like know Holly, you know, and stuff. But Holly, you kind of get a D for this one. I'm sorry, this was not my, it was gorgeous. And I think it was really fun, the poly juice and all that kind of stuff. But it doesn't taste very good. It's like a 3.6. It might be a 3.4. <laughs> if I was honest, a 2.5. But anyway, no, I'm joking. I mean, I wouldn't order this again. I mean, if somebody got this for me, I'd be like, thanks. <laughs> you know what I mean? Anyway, let me know what you think. I love you, Holly, and I love all of you out there. And let me know what you think. I actually got some candy bars to review. There's some new candy bars out. There's a Halloween candy. And then there's a specialty candy that I got that I'm going to review. So that might be tomorrow. I also have a bunch of stuff that I ordered online that came. That's another review. I have all these dog boxes that I have to review. I have like June, July, and August of each doctor dog box. And, the, and I haven't opened them yet because I'm saving them for this channel. I have so many things to review over here. So tomorrow, unless Holly comes up with the most fantastic drink that I have to review, please, Holly, give me a break, okay? We might, I might have to take a break tomorrow and do a different video. So anyway, a different review other than a Starbucks drink. Anyway, I love you guys. What was that noise? My Lord, that scared the hell out of me. Anyway, I love you guys, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.